Welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we will see how we can download and install Node.js in Windows 10 operating system. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime built on the Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. By using this, we can run the JavaScript programs outside the browser window. And uh, if you're learning JavaScript, then this is going to be the best tool that you can install. So the first thing that we're going to do is we can open up any browser. I have uh, Microsoft Edge. I'm going to open it up and then I'm going to open up Google. And here we will search for Node.js. And the first link is from nodejs.org, which is the official website. We will uh, click on this Node.js. We will open up that website. And here, um, you know, we can see two versions displayed. One is the LTS, which is the long-term support. And another one is the current one. The current one has the latest features. If you're getting Node.js for learning purposes, then, uh, you know, you can go with the current version. Um, one more thing here, depending on whether you have a 32-bit operating system or 64-bit operating system, you want to download 32-bit or 64-bit version of this uh, software. Here I'm browsing this website from the 64-bit operating system. So it is showing me that option here. Uh, if it is not displayed properly, then you can go to other downloads. Here I'm going to click on this other downloads and you know we can see all that options that we have for downloading the Node.js. Here, current one is selected, which contains the latest features, and we will download the uh, Windows installer. If you're looking for the Node.js for other platforms, then you can find the options in here. And I'm gonna get the 64-bit, because I have the 64-bit operating system. If you don't know whether you have 32-bit or 64-bit, then I have a tutorial which explains how you can find out that, and you can check that one. So I'm gonna download the 64-bit one, I'm going to click on that and the download has begun and we will uh, wait for this download to finish. Okay, now the download is finished. We will click on this show in folder option and it will open up the folder where we have saved our download. Mine is in this downloads folder. Now to install it, we will double click on it and the uh, setup window will appear and we will click on next. Then we will accept the license agreement, click on next. It will display the path where it will uh, install the Node.js. We will not change it. Whatever is selected, we will keep it like that. And after that, click on next. And then we can see the packages it will install. And also it will add the location of this Node.js installation to the path environment variable. All that will be done here. We don't have to change anything in here. We will click on next. Here in this window, it talks about installing some necessary tools that includes Chocolaty. Chocolaty is a software management solution for Windows. If you're downloading Node.js just for learning purposes, then, then it may not be required. But if you do want to install it, then you can uh, check this checkbox. But remember that it will take a lot of space in your computer and it will uh, you know take a lot of time to download the files from the internet. I think it will take around uh, three gigabytes of storage in your computer. Here, I'm not gonna install it. So I'm gonna keep this checkbox as unchecked and then I'm gonna click on next and we will click on this install. And if it asks for permission, then uh, provide the permission by clicking on S. Okay, now the installation has finished. We will click on finish. Now we will close this uh, folder and also the browser that we have opened before. Now to make sure that Node.js has been installed properly, we will click on the start button and we will open up the command prompt. I'm going to search for CMD, open up the command prompt. And here I'm going to type in node minus V. And here we're going to get the version of uh, node that we have installed. In this case, it is 15.2.0. It may be different for you depending on when you're watching this video. Okay, this is how we can download and install Node.js in Windows 10 operating system. Now we will see how we can set up the Visual Studio code for, uh, you know, running the JavaScript programs. Open up the Visual Studio code. Now the Visual Studio code will open up with the welcome window. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to file and we will go to save workspace as. And here I'm going to go to desktop and here I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it as coding. 
you guys can give any name and after creating the folder i will open it up by double clicking on it and inside this folder i'm gonna save the workspace i'm gonna say my js workspace you guys can give any name and after that i'm gonna click on save now you guys can see here my js workspace is uh, the workspace that we are in and after that i'm gonna go to file again and this time i'm gonna go to add folder to workspace and it will open up the coding folder that we have uh, created before and here i'm gonna create another folder and i'm gonna say programs you know we can give any name for these folders and after that i'm gonna select the folder and then i'm gonna click on add now if we click on this explorer and open it up then you guys can see myjs workspace is the workspace that we have created and then inside this we have the programs folder now i'm going to select this programs folder and i'm going to click on this new file icon and it will allow us to create a file i'm going to say hello dot js dot js is the extension for javascript files and after that hit the enter button and let's close the welcome window now here we have the um, file where we can write the javascript code now we're gonna write a simple javascript program i'm gonna write in console.log and then here i'm gonna type in in double quotes hello okay and after that we will go to file and we will click on save and also if you don't want to save it again and again you can uh, go to file and you can click on this auto save option you know you guys can see it is checked what it does is whenever we make any modification to the file it will save it automatically now what we have to do is we have to run this javascript program one simple way to set it up is we can go to extensions and we can search for code runner and the first result we will uh, open it up and uh, we will install it by installing this extension we can easily run the code written in c c plus plus java and uh, many different languages we will click on this install and it will install this extension and once the extension is installed close this window and we will click on this extensions um, icon again it will hide it now here in the top right corner we can see a run button which says run code we will click on that and it will display the output and it will appear in the output window if you want the output in terminal then you can go to file you can go to preferences settings and choose extensions and it will uh, you know open up all these options after that click on run code configuration and here scroll down and you will see an option called as run in terminal just uh, check that one and after that close this settings um, win file and now just click on this run button which is at the top right corner now the program will run in the terminal this is it guys for this video this is how we can set up the visual studio code for writing and executing the javascript programs if you like this video hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video